this is Boiler Dam 1, and on my channel I profess to know a little bit about everything and a whole lot about nothing. And I basically just go through things that I purchase and if I like it or don't like it. Recently I obtained a, a drill press table for my wind drill. This would actually work I think on any drill press because of the way that it hooks on. But they made so many improvements from the original version that they made that I thought it would warrant me doing a short video on the wind drill press. Again, it's not restricted to a wind brand drill. I'll go through some of the features that it has. I don't think you could build this on your own. I know there's a lot of plans out there online where you can build one. But this runs about $50. And I think by the time you put in the materials and the man hours to make one, can't go wrong just buying this one it's pre made so let me show you what it has for starters your work surface is 24 inches in width 12 inch depth there's uh, ruler markings on both sides for measurement the improvements on this particular model and the earlier version is this metal track and the original this was just fiberboard there were concerns that the stop block bolt would pull through so now this is metal much better you can use the guide from either side this can easily come out the back turn it around put the bolts in the front side and the tracks on the table itself are also metal I guess I should probably say aluminum so something that I noticed on my own and it wasn't in the instructions anywhere but I noticed that on both the metal plate for the drill press there's a groove and on the drill press table there is a groove and if you line those up what that will do it'll slightly offset the table so that you're not drilling dead center on this replaceable uh, part that you can make new inserts for so with repeated drilling as you bring your drill press down and the drill head you'll drill holes in this and by lining up those two lines as you can see it's a little off center so then you can turn this and have a different hole there before it's worn out and then you can also turn it over and you'll get different drilling sites so then where your drill hole comes down, it'll change and you can get more use out of this. You can also replace that with your own. And this was a little tricky to find. I made this insert myself from 3 8 thick wood. And I got that at Menards, and I'll put on the screen exactly what it is, because it is an exact fit as far as the depth. It was a little tricky to find, but it wasn't expensive. I got a three-foot piece that was a little wider than what I needed. What's nice about having a stop block, if you've got repetitive drilling that you're going to do, you can just keep sliding the piece in. You don't have to keep measuring. Now, this particular uh, drill press has the uh, laser marking. I don't really use that uh, but I have it turned on just to let you see it this also has a an LED light to help light up the area but the stop block and this is the best thing and the whole reason that I purchased it so there I've got my four holes exactly all in the same spot from the corners So you see what I mean by being able to use all four corners by slightly making this off center and that's lining up those back two lines. Again, this is inexpensive. When it's worn out, I can replace it with another. I will probably save this to make a pattern from because it looks too nice to drill through. Another thing that I'll mention is you could hook up your shop vac underneath here because they're at these uh, openings and this is raised so when this is in place 
you can have airflow that will be pulling down, pulling a lot of your wood debris out and into your vacuum system. So it'd be just a matter of on the underside having your shop vac hooked up underneath here. I may work on that and I'm sure there's an attachment you can actually get. This is the clamp that is used to hold the uh, work table on your drill press and it just slides across. You put it in the position, tighten the handle and it's very secure. And then you can see this goes right around. This is the metal part of the original table. Clamps right on, very secure, very easy to put in place. The table comes with five of these clamps. Three are used to actually hold the table in place on your uh, drill press, on the metal part. And then the other two can be used to clamp materials down if you have a need to hold something very stable. They're also rounded. If you had a, a piece of round pipe, it could hold the pipe steady so you get a perfectly centered hole. So some good features that they've added to this particular version of the drill press table. Another improved area on the first version or earlier version that they made, you could still buy it. It's white in color and this was straight across. What they've done is they've looped this out so you can turn this crank without uh, hitting your knuckles on the table. So that is a great improvement. Yet another improvement is the back fence is just two inches tall. I think on the original version that was made, it was three inches tall. That could uh, have a greater chance of interfering with your drill chuck as it lowered. I would rate the drill press work table at an A+. I'm very happy with it. It was simple to install. It came with all the uh, aluminum guides in place. So all I had to do was hook in the, the little handles. So installation was a breeze. I look forward to using it. I really like the stop block feature and the uh, back rail and its maneuverability. I like the surface. This is kind of a hard surface. I don't think if you took into account all the metal channels and the handles and those clamps underneath, I think you're going to be talking $40 in materials. And I'm sorry, the amount of labor, I'll go with this for 50. One slight downside, and it'll just take time to tell, is that the measuring tape on there, I could see getting worn over time. I don't know how much I'll actually use that, but I could see that being an issue. But uh, I really don't use the drill press that often. So for my use, I don't think that'll ever be an issue. So again, this is Boiler Dan One. I appreciate you watching. If you found this little episode to be helpful, hit the uh, thumbs up on the bottom of your screen.